Hi everybody, so for the first question of today's discussion about what I noticed and what I thought was interesting, um, I definitely thought it was interesting that each act was separated into different times in the future. Um, I thought that was really cool to show um, how they started from sitting around like a campfire after a traumatic event happened and then how it progressed to um, future generations. And um, I also thought it was really interesting, uh, this kind of goes hand in hand with question number three, because I was confused about when they were um, performing the three little maids from school, and I didn't really know what that was about. So I did some research on that, and I found out that The Simpsons itself actually did a um, rendition of that story, and um, then this play kind of did a rendition of the rendition of The Simpsons, which was really cool. I think that kind of shows a parallel between The Simpsons and then also a parallel between what they're trying to show um, in this play, um, like the, pretty much I think the central um, idea that um, the stories are passed down from generation to generation and they're at, adapted based on how people tell them, um, how they interpret them and things like that, which I think is really interesting. So I thought those parallels were really cool. Um, it also kind of answers question three where I didn't know some of the allusions to The Simpsons and allusions to other things. So I did research those um, and I found out um, about that. Um, some values I think that are represented are um, the value of storytelling um, by passing down information um, and also passing down um, a feeling of joy and um, imagination. I think um, both of those are very important because, um, for example, my parents lived through 9-11, I didn't. Um, there's people who lived through the Holocaust, whereas like our generation didn't. And it's really important to hear those people's stories so that we can educate people in the future about that. So I think um, education is a big value in storytelling that is also shown in this um, play. And then also the um, importance of imagination when things are not looking so great. It's shown in a uh, post-apocalyptic world. So obviously everybody is, um, you know, trying to rebuild their life, trying to find safety and happiness, and that's very really difficult in that type of situation. So when you have something that can distract you from that and give you some type of joy and happiness, that's really important. So I think another value is um, the value of imagination. And um, I think what Mr. Burns is trying to say about the value of theater and television is kind of like what I touched on before is that it's very important to have theater and television because it shows the different adaptations of stories that were told to people in the past and it brings a unique light to everybody's um, thoughts and emotions about that story. Um, one person's story could be super different if you ask them to put, a, put on a production of a certain story for example, like Cinderella, um, so many people could have, there are actually so many different renditions of the typical Cinderella story. So I think that's really interesting because it sheds new light and um, it allows people to express themselves and it allows an audience to connect with the performers as well as connect with the audience itself and the performers to connect with each other and be able to um, express how they see a certain story um, and bring their vision to life. Um, two questions that I'd like my peers to discuss are, one, um, what do you think is the central main theme? Or um, what do you think are the different themes that are presented in different acts? Because I definitely think that each act was um, was different than the a previous act, like act one, two, and three. So what themes can you think of that are um, present in each one? And then um, also one part of the story, they talk about motivation, where one character is discussing how um, she thinks every character, no matter how, um, no matter anything, that they should have a motivation. Whereas the other character is arguing with her, saying, "Oh, I, um, I disagree. I think that we shouldn't have a um, motivation for more of a light-hearted type of funny character." So, what are your opinions on that? Thanks.